Okay, this project's complete. Uh, this is my SMA version of the, uh, the RF demo kit. So if you've bought one of these, you know how, how difficult those little connectors can be. And so I laid out a version of the uh, card. Um, it doesn't have the nice graphics, but it has all the circuitry. And it is, uh, it is SMA. Uh, it's, heft it's hefty. It's got all these brass connectors on it, which is kind of cool. Uh, and what I did was I removed all of these components and I placed them onto here. So I didn't need to buy any components. I did need to buy these connectors, which aren't cheap, but, um, and it needs 25, 25 SMA. So there's quite a few on there. Um, I'm going to, uh, change the board a little bit. Uh, if somebody wants this board, I'm going to post it. Um, one of the problems is these two connectors are too close together for the through calibration. It's just not enough enough area in there to get both connectors on, so I'll, I'll move this connector over a little bit. And the other uh, problem is there was a PC layout error on this filter here. Now, um, I did, I was able to remove the uh, 433 bandpass using a hot air station, and then reflow it onto this uh, pad here. So that that worked fine. For some reason, this one's dead. Uh, it's not working right, and I. And I originally tried to remove it with a hot air station. I may have damaged this part. So um, in addition to the layout error, I think I damaged this part. So anyway, that's not working right now, but everything else works. Um, oh, and that's, that's not exactly true. Uh, there is a uh, inductor. So these little inductors are super tiny. Um, and uh, I'll, 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 pu I'll put in a, uh, uh, a, a picture to show you right now. There, there are a little plastic core or something with little tiny wires around, wound around it. So they're a real inductor, um, and they're really, really easy to damage when you take them off the board. So I destroyed one of them until I figured out how to do it correctly. So I've replaced it with a little. Um, can I zoom in here? Uh, no, it's as far as it zooms. Uh, I replaced it with a little coil uh, that I wound myself. Uh, it's not as not as good, but uh, at least it's something on the board. I didn't know exactly what uh, what parts they actually found to put in these boards. I tried measuring them. They measured kind of funny because they're really RF devices, and measuring them at 100 hertz or even a kilohertz isn't doesn't do them justice. You really can't get their impedance value, so. Uh, I just removed them from the other board and put them onto this one. So anyway, it's it's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it other than stare at it. Um, it is fun to go through and uh, try all the different things out. And it is a nice learning, uh, learning tool for uh, teaching um, how impedance works, how uh, Smith charts, or especially Smith charts, it's, it's very, very good for that. Impedance matching, um, and then uh, different types of filters. Uh, um, bandpass filters, the uh, uh, low-pass, high-pass filters. So it's a nice demonstration of that. So I thought uh, I'd, I'd post this, and if somebody uh, wants to build it up, maybe use it in a classroom environment or something where they need something a little more rugged. Um, so yeah, go ahead and grab that, and if you feel inclined, uh, go over to uh, Patreon and, uh, and donate. But uh, 